Okay, this is Havoc OS. It's in finally back. It's version 6.0. It's finally back with Android 13. The last version, I guess, the stable version was based on Android 11. It came with Android 12, I guess, but it was not that stable. Maybe one or two versions were there. And this is finally back with Android 13, which is having finally kind of stability. Not that much, maybe, but still it's good enough. And also with the initial state, the first build, which is based on Android 13, which I got right now, is really interesting we'll talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned firstly we have the private dns mode already enabled so we have two dns options configured cloudflare dns or adguard dns so if you want to block ads you can use adguard dns it will block the ads from your device most of the times so from apps or from the websites etc and this is one of the things i always use on my device secondly if i move on to the battery options i'll be able to notice we have the charging control in one custom only one custom home, i found this feature and now this is the second one named as habu quest which is basically the renamed version of smart charging i guess you can see but we have more controls right now that was only for smart charging it has the option for to customize the charging mode which means you can customize the charging limit you can also choose the automatic option let me show you we have the charging mods available if you click on charging mode you have the automatic schedule and this is what we have related to charging control that's quite useful if you want to use this thing you can thirdly we have the separate ring and notification option available and it's not separated by default you have the option available in some of the custom homes we found that uh, some things like ring and notification volumes are separated sometimes these are not but in this case we have the option available so if you need any one of that you can use that also in the terms of privacy concerns for some of the users this is really useful called hide quick settings in the secure lock screen so if you have any passcode enabled pin enabled then you will not be able to access your quick settings panel this is so useful in a lot of cases because of course you have locked your device and you don't want to use you don't want to access you don't want to give access for the quick settings panel to anyone in wallpapers and styles as expectedly we're having the new ui the ui that is inspired from android 12 sorry android 14 unfortunately i just messed up something you can see some shortcuts available there right shortcut left shortcut the things which you can customize and right now available in most of the custom rooms have of course it's not a unique custom room although but it's also of course one of those custom rooms but if you just want to use or just want to give it a try you can you can see we have the clock customizations available and pixie sos is one of them where i got this option for the first time we have the option let it lock screen etc although a lot of things extra things are also included here you will get to know after installing this custom on your device as we were talking about the new ui in wallpapers and styles so as expected the back gesture is also the new one you just noticed here the back gesture like in some custom homes, still some custom homes did not got this kind of thing but that's of course fine that's just totally up to you enhanced pin privacy we have in the july security patch and i guess this feature was introduced with the july security patch or maybe the june security patch the maybe the qpr3 update so enhanced pin privacy option is available here which will simply disable the animations while entering the pin it's amazing including that we have the app lock support for some of the users who need this it's finally here it's available here not every customer provides you and including that it is having the pixel launcher pre-installed but if you move on to this you have the option to hide these apps from the launcher so which means you have can you can hide apps you can lock apps and also to hide this app from this launcher you don't need to enable the protection for that in some cases i think so that was a bug but in some cases this was a thing it also has this lineage trust i guess because i found this thing first time in lineages and it's available here too where one of my favorite feature is a restrict usb you can simply restrict or deny the usb connections that's really useful it also has a rooted debugging option although in the developer settings you will be able to find that last but not the least all the useful features which are available in some other custom like status bar customizations or gestures etc although this is the initial stage or initial version for havoc os right now this is not having any major customizations havoc os is not like that if you check out the android 11 versions you might notice that this custom home brings you a lot of customizations but in this case not right now but maybe with the upcoming additions you'll get to know so these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you still want to install this thing link is available in the description thanks for watching and goodbye